Hello, good morning guys, good morning. Um, it's Michael here from TIOF, Trading Institutional Order Flow. I see you guys have been busy on the thread. Um, well done to everyone. I just wanted to do another video because I think it would just be way too long for me to answer all the questions that have come onto the thread, but it's all good, it's okay. Um, so let, we're, we're going to start with, with SW True and we're just going to work our way down for, for the questions today. Um, SW True is very, very new to supply and demand, so welcome. Um, you're learning fast, I, I, I can see. So let's let's go with let's go with your charts. So here is your Euro, U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, and I can tell you that this zone is not fresh either. I know Dennis um, drew drew it slightly higher. But I think overall this wick may touch this zone and made it not so fresh. So that one would be the fresh zone. All of these have been tested. That is not demand. Correct. This is demand. It's been tested. There's demand below. So just as an exercise, let's look at what's below. Um, see if we can see anything there. What time frame was that? That was the weekly. So let's take a look at the weekly. Um, US dollar Japanese yen so that's the weekly this area is messy maybe if you go down to a smaller time frame you might find something in there maybe um, but looking at the fresh demand below you got nothing you got nothing till somewhere around there so that's that's huge that's a lot of money um, and so basically you're closer to supply than you are to to demand so I hope that answers your question um, next one what was this one on the daily here yes yeah, so oh you were looking on the smaller time frame um, yeah so if you're a day trader that's what you've got that's what you've got you've just got this range to trade between um, it's enough for a day trader um, so that 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 should be all right if you're using day trades, not for swing trades, so, um, unless you're risking it quite a bit. And that is not really great. Let me take a look at it because that there's been too much, way, way too much trading in there. You wouldn't want, nah, no way. That is not a picture of demand, SW true. Um, it's it's a good point you bring but you see all these candles that's way too much trading anybody who had orders in here and wanted them filled there was more than enough time to have them filled okay if you're looking say on this four hour where is my fresh quality demand zone then you're looking more at that that area around there okay now the next one Dennis I think I have mentioned this one it's a bit tight here, Dennis. Um, it's not really fresh. I think on the on the daily you have zones inside here, pretty much for day trades as well because of what the way that it approached it. Is this what we just saw in GBP JPY? What is this? Whoa! These aren't even candles. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Well, let, let's take a look. It's the four-hour GBP JPY. Let's see, because I don't use. Um, bars I, I've looked at bars um, in the past but so what were you looking at um, I didn't even forgive me I didn't um, mention your name whose chart was that here for the pips hi 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 um, yes yes I got your your message yes Londoners Londoners <laughs> um, so let's Let's see, this is what we just saw. I posted four hour chart, but there are plenty of zones on both sides on various time frames. Yes, so the the learning um, is thinking about how to amalgamate your process to come to a conclusion on whether to take a trade because you will find supply and demand zones on all time frames um, and zones will be of differing quality. So there has to be a method and there is a method for which you you um, analyze the charts process by process step by step to come to a, a conclusion um, so the levels on on the GBP four hour the fresh demand levels let's see uh, let's look at supply oh look at that there's nothing 
nothing here and even that is not ideal because it's a pull back into this little guy look at that lovely trade um, so <laughs> for believe it or not this is what you're looking at in the four hour you could draw it like that I suppose um, I don't see anything fresh above there is nothing fresh above this area looks interesting but it's nah it's not good quality because of the the wicks they're again they're drawing liquidity from higher and this one's already tested in terms of demand below again this is the um, grinding through or if, if you wanted to use the forex factory balance the um, compression like we, we talked about so there's nothing fresh in here so really the quality zone is this for demand this one is also quite good and it's not being tested that one there um, I'm not going to use this one um, because well you can put it on but the the thing is if you take a trade here think about where you're going to put your stop um, that it's it wouldn't be ideal to put your stops right into a demand zone if you're going to be buying okay and o obviously if you're looking at the four hour chart this is not where the decision to make to buy or sell is made the decision is made well before you even get down to this um, time frame okay um, and the next one I think did I get all of them I think I got all of them I think I did I'm just going to refresh this and make sure I have everything oh no I didn't <laughs> I didn't I didn't get everything. It looks like there are more. Oh boy. Okay, let's go. Um, um, Lade, where are we at? Is this the uh, the Aussie New Zealand? And you're looking at the 60 and what was that one? The daily. So I like your daily supply zone. Correct. And we're going into that. And then you had the 60. So let's see, Aussie New Zealand. Let's look at it on the daily, shall we? Okay. So that's your that's your area. And you have another one on top of it um, as well. And for your demand, oof. Um, suppose there is this little guy it's not great and this one's this one's been tested already um, it's not it's not that great but still okay uh, maybe looking at confirmation here. so looking at that daily and then you went down to a 60 for entry where is the 60 minute okay so that was your uh, your trade in here Again, you'll notice the wick up and I mean obviously if you took that you're out already because this was the, the trend was still up this was in this was that was what was in the way and, and other demand zones being formed so you are overall inside a daily demand zone you've come to a 60 you've had your trade you're out and demand zones still being formed what I didn't like about that zone was again this wick it destroys the structure because again it's pulling liquidity from all of this to the left okay so that was that one um, what was the next one so sorry going back to your trade Lade I would say wait for wait for confirmation <coughs> wait for confirmation inside that daily zone or look higher yeah you got the higher one as well well done um, and pound New Zealand I can tell you now looking at this that this is not great there's too much trading in this base it's not structurally sound that one's better this higher one um, and this is already in jeopardy because of all this time spent right below it the approach is not good at all okay so no way alright so I'm learning to but you, um, you but your close demand is not fresh um, yeah so okay so yeah so this is the zone that's causing all of this correct this is still the pound New Zealand and the demand is down here yeah that's correct 
that's correct this watch this one is is just a bit more messy and even that one that I was saying was above the wick there again is a wick into here so really okay this one again if you are going to use it if you're really really pressed again this is not great a great approach guys so you want to go higher and again maybe up in here somewhere all right okay quiet trader you're getting in the habit of posting <laughs> 10 charts in a, in a row really okay blitz through blitz through let's blitz through all of them one by one weekly we already talked about this i believe we in the last video so yeah that's the supplier we're getting the demand causing a reaction so i won't go over that one too much um and for the aussie dollar yeah that would be a surprise so let's look at the aussie dollar see if we find anything below in terms of the the demand where are we the daily change that to my daily let's take a look and see if we find anything that's demand okay um so what i see for aussie it was the daily wasn't it that you were looking at on the aussie or was that the weekly let me go oh, these ones um the aussie was Oh, the weekly. Okay, forgive me. Let's take a look at the weekly then. One week. Okay, so you're looking for fresh demand. Well, the fresh demand on the weekly is that one. And as we said before, none of this is fresh. And that one <coughs> would be the one above. So did you get that? Yeah, that's correct. So don't, don't don't miss out this one it's not authentic but it's it all it's it's still in the way it's still in your way and in terms of the one to all the way to the left um so you're looking at potentially here which again structurally is not a great level but the move away is significant so those are the two levels really that i would be keeping an eye on all right you've got that in the range and what was the next one blitzing through what was the question on this one the cat chf did we do this one already um, let's take a look cat chf ugly ugly more like ugly chart <laughs> um so you wanted supply let's take a look yeah i guess you are correct and it's is this all time lows yeah it is well at least on this broker so this is this is demand has has um caused the reaction up and supply is now where you are so that's that's all that's happened so okay next one euro aussie weekly are you correct so we we looked at this i think didn't we yesterday so yeah so those are those are the levels that i that i think are are also correct yeah that's fine there's also one above here as well um, and this one oh we, we talked about this one we talked about this one as well okay um, let me just take a look at that this one that you drew Euro GVP see if that is that on the weekly I believe it is correct not that one not that one not that one so on the Euro GVP, so lower down. Let's see. Um, yeah, this one's it's not great. Um, the structure is not great, but I suppose you could do that zone like that. The move away is definitely not good. I I prefer the one lower um, for a lot of reasons. Um, this this structure is not good. I don't like the the move away from it. It's not strong enough for me. Um, so yeah, so that area was what I was talking about yesterday. And that wick also makes it structurally not great. But yeah, this is the way I would draw it, as I was saying yesterday. Um, what's this one? Oh, I'm guessing that's the Euro Japanese yen. It's not very clear. So yeah that would be it let's take a look at the demand zone below yeah that's the demand zone we pointed out yesterday um, 
and this one the Euro New Zealand okay it's not not bad Euro New Zealand on what time frame was that again on the weekly Euro New Zealand on the weekly okay so yeah so that is the supply that's the supply the demand honestly you got nothing there's nothing really of quality that one is not great because of the wickiness I suppose the only reason you would put it on your chart is because it looks like it's the all-time low um, there so you could you could just leave that on to see what happens if and when price gets down there okay uh, next one is the euro definitely not a zone that wick totally invalidates that because it's a wick I did a video on this well before um, I think it happened before mr. Trump was elected um, and, and pointing out that that supply zone as a supply zone to watch that one right there I think that was the what well, the, there was a video about this it's in it's on the channel and in terms of demand what do we have below let's take a look okay so have we hit that one this is the one that I see below you and we haven't got there yet so <coughs> so yeah so that's what what I would be looking at in the euro um, for now there's n supply is not supply has been tested above that this this is not a supply zone no way all right um, next one Whew. <laughs> pound cat um, you are at a zone right now this one is what is causing price to be held up but in terms of fresh zones you're correct up there would be where I would look as well and pound cad demand where's pound cad Oops, wrong one pound cad demand mm, nothing quality nothing quality here but you I think this was the one you reacted to so that would have been the zone but it's been touched already let's take a look well this one's this one's there's a little bit more now it's been tested forget it now it's been tested so that's the supply that's currently holding down price yes so we again you don't have any fresh zones so you might find this pair ranges a bit going forward and the next one is the US dollar Canadian mm, the approach here is so bad I would I would be very careful trading this one because the way it's coming back into the zone it's not it's not great at all it's not great at all let's take this uh, these are old from old teaching sessions and yeah so I see I see the demand that you see that's correct and look at the grind up now this is you will you were looking for grinding up grinding through look at this this is proper grinding through and yeah that that's that's okay it's okay the approach as I said is not good at all not good but okay I think that's it oh I think I got everything then okay well I hope that helps you all um, thank you um, the thread is 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 lighting up so thank you for all your questions and, and posting them and all of that um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to continue these daily videos I have a bit of time this week is why I've been able to do it um, but keep the questions coming and bring them to the webinar on Sunday for those of you who haven't sent me your email addresses it's 8.30 Sunday UK time 8.30 p.m. that is um, and and I understand from one of my um, New Zealand friends that she's um, going to be awake at 7.30 in New Zealand and she's going to be coming so looking forward to that it's a bit early but she's committed so well done to her okay thank you all guys stay safe bye bye